what would you use if you needed some type of, of fastener, like a screw, um, and, and you needed to uh, install and uninstall this screw frequently from, you know, whatever part it was going into or coming out of, and maybe you're using it, you know, in the field somewhere where you don't have access to tools, or, or maybe you just don't want to force the user to have to use a, a, a tool to take this in or, or pull it out, what would you use? Um, the, the answer is, at least one answer, is a thumb screw. And this is an example of a thumb screw. <clears throat> um, a thumb screw uh, is, is basically a screw, but it has this larger diameter and often Often on the diameter, you'll see like a knurled surface. This is a metal nut, and so it's knurled. But if it was a plastic, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say nut. This is a, a, a metal uh, screw. And knurling is a, a machining operation that can be applied to metal parts. Uh, so this is a, a nice knurled, you know, really nicely textured surface that gives you better grip when you're applying torque to the screw. Um, on a plastic head, you might see just like little scallops patterned around the diameter or something like that. Anyway, it, it, it provides a, an easier access or a easier interface for a person to use their fingers to screw these in or, or screw them out. And so that just it makes it really easy to install or uninstall some kind of screw um, uh, without any tools. Now, I guess the downside to using a, a thumb screw is that it's harder to really torque it down um, really tight because you're using your fingers and not, you know, like a metal tool to install it. So you might not use thumb screws for applications in which you really need to torque down a, a screw really tightly, but um, uh, in applications where it doesn't need to be torqued down tightly, and especially when you need to remove that or not even completely remove it, you know, you just need to back it off a little bit. Uh, in, in this this part here, um, the, there was uh, there's some other parts that go on this side that I'm not showing, but when we screw this in tight, it would lock this in place and, and prevent it from rotating, which is what we wanted to do. But we also wanted to be able to just back it off just a little bit, you know, like, like that much, two or three or four s or turns. And that would loosen it up enough to the point where you could you could rotate it like this, which is also what we wanted. And you rotate it into the right place and then you screw this back in. And that, that's how we used it. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.